Consider uniform horizontal beam. It is attached to a wall and its far end is supported by a cable. A person is standing 2 meters away from the wall. So we have D equals 2 meters and we know that the weight of the beam equals 200 newtons. We know weight of the person equals 600 newtons and we know that the person is standing I already said that 2 meters away uh, we know that the length of the beam is actually 8 meters so what we are uh, looking for we're looking to find what is the tension in a cable and we want to find out what is the reaction force from the wall to the um, to the beam Right here, wall is exerting a force on the beam. So I'm going to call that force as an R, as a reaction force, and try to look for it. Okay, so <clears throat> this problem is an equilibrium problem because we want the system to remain stationary in and in equilibrium. So there are four equilibrium conditions are uh, very useful here equilibrium conditions are very useful so and we know some of the forces on the x-axis equals zero some of the forces by y equals zero some of the torques equals zero i'm going to name these <coughs> equations one two and three so to to actually complete the equations we need to identify what forces are acting on the object for that reason we want to make a free body diagram for our beam so suppose this is our beam okay so here's our beam and then we have uh, forces um, so we have the weight of the beam because it's a uniform beam it should be from the center of the beam so this is the weight of the beam and then somewhere here <clears throat> we have the weight of the person I'm drawing it longer because it's mm, larger in magnitude and then we have the tension tension of the cable and we have a reaction force so the idea of the uh, reaction force is that we really do not know where it comes uh, at what uh, angle it is going to react so I'm gonna call this one um, angle phi and this angle right here uh, that uh, cable is making is angle theta by the way, we're given uh, that angle theta equals 53 degrees. I'm going to add it to my uh, nones. Okay. So, and then um, I have uh, tension and reaction force that are uh, at an angle. So, I'm going to resolve them into X and Y components. So, this would be tension y component this would be tension x component okay so here i will have um, reaction force y component and reaction force x component okay now let's go back and then uh, rewrite our equation one in terms of um, forces so sum of the forces by x equals um, so first of all let's choose positive x and positive y and uh, positive rotation so I'm gonna give a key my positive y I'm going to choose to go upwards positive x to the right and I'm gonna say counterclockwise is a positive okay so let's go back and write uh, some of the forces uh, so on the x-axis I have um, uh, Rx is positive 
minus tx equals 0. On the y-axis, I have sum of the forces by y equals <coughs> ry plus ty uh, minus the weight of the person minus the weight of the beam. is beam equals zero. I think it would be nice for us if we uh, identify what is the tx, ty, rx, ry. Let's just put the side work here. So my rx equals r times cosine theta. I'm sorry, cosine phi. Uh, ry equals r sine phi tx this is r tx equals t cosine theta ty equals t sine theta okay so and finally let's go ahead and then uh, write the third equation sum of the torques okay sum of the torques equals, well, the torque of the tension, uh, we have um, um, Ty is, um, um, is one of the component of the tension that is going to contribute to the torque. So I'm going to say uh, that equals Ty, uh, Ty times um, L, the length of the the length of the beam and uh, ty is going to rotate the beam counterclockwise therefore it's positive okay and then then beam the weight of the beam um, is going to rotate the beam clockwise so it's gonna provide a negative torque that's a uh, weight of the beam times half of the length of the beam and then uh, weight of the person, well, check this. I have a mistake in here. This was supposed to be a person, not a, a beam. So let me check, uh, correct this one. Okay, so we have, um, uh, and then uh, weight of the person is going to provide also a clockwise uh, torque, which is negative. So I'll have a weight of the person times the distance t should equal to zero. Okay, so um, let's go ahead now and um, solve for tension. I have three equations, but first I want to rewrite uh, the first, second, and the third equations by substituting rx, ry, tx, ty. So, Okay, I'm going to write again. 1 would be r cosine phi minus t cosine theta equals 0. Second, I'm going to have r sine phi uh, plus t sine theta minus weight of the person minus weight of the beam equals zero. Three, um, I would have T sine theta times L minus weight of the beam L over two minus weight of the person times the distance equals zero. Okay, from the third equation, we can find the tension. So let's isolate the tension. So we have a T sine theta times L equals um, weight of the uh, beam L over two plus weight of the person. 
Okay, I made a mistake again. Weight of the person, distance times distance divided by actually we will divide both sides now by t sine theta not t sine l sine theta sine theta times l sine theta times l this will cancel out we'll end up having tension equals weight of the beam l over 2 plus weight of the person distance divided by sine theta times L. Okay, all we need to do, plug in the numbers. So I have a 600 newtons times L over 2 is um, its uh, weight of the beam is actually 200 newtons. 200 newtons times uh, 8 meters divided by 2 plus weight of the person is a 600 newtons times the distance is a 2 meters divided by sine 53 degrees times 8 meters so this will give us a result of 313 newtons so tension is a 313 newtons now to uh, to solve for <clears throat> reaction force uh, which was our uh, one of our questions right here to find the reaction force I'm gonna use um, equation 1 and 2 so equation 1 1 and 2 because that's where the R's are okay well <clears throat> from equation one equation one um, I have R cosine theta cosine phi minus T cosine theta I, I meant to say equals T cosine theta and from equation two Uh, I have <clears throat> R sine phi equals T mm, equals um, weight of the beam plus weight of the per, uh, person minus T sine theta. Okay, so divide. Uh, these two equations actually divide 2 by 1 we'll get <clears throat> um, r sine theta sine phi divided by r cosine phi that equals <clears throat> r's cancel out equals tangent phi which in turn equals weight of the person plus weight of the beam minus t sine theta divided by t cosine theta so let me just put the division uh, dividing wall in here and from here i can find the phi equals tangent inverse of <clears throat> weight of the person plus weight of the beam minus t sine theta over t cosine theta uh, plug in the numbers we have tangent inverse okay person is a 600 newtons plus 200 newtons minus 313 newtons times uh, sine 53 degrees uh, divided by 313 newtons uh, cosine 53 degrees and then we close the parentheses this will give us a 71 degrees now 
we can <clears throat> use uh, the first equation from the first equation we can say that r equals t cosine theta divided by cosine v which equals 313 newtons cosine 53 degrees divided by cosine 71 degrees which gives us 581 newtons wow this is bigger than tension <clears throat>